We've seen that if you take a pendulum and you pull it back and release, it will oscillate back and forth with simple harmonic motion. Now, for this oscillation to qualify as simple, there can't be any friction. Likewise, if you take a mass spring system, pull it back from equilibrium, from the resting point, and then you let go, it oscillates up and down with simple harmonic motion. But it's possible to interfere with that motion. For example, we could add friction, or I could come pick this up with my hand, shake it up and down, and in effect, I would be driving the oscillations by forcing it to move up and down as I shake my hand. We've learned that when the oscillations are simple, these equations describe the period. But as soon as you start forcing this thing to oscillate by gripping it with your hand, the equations no longer apply. Let's see that scenario. It's this, except now we're going to grab this top part and shake it up and down. Here we go. Okay, the block is going up and down, and this thing is a bolt. Perhaps it's connected to a, you know, a motor. And so the motor is driving it up and down, but it's not really going very fast. So would you say that these two are in sync or out of sync? Yeah, they look pretty out of sync. The spring, you might notice, wants to oscillate more quickly or more frequently. And so this slow oscillation doesn't really do much. All right, what if we increase the frequency? What if we wiggle this thing up and down more frequently? All right, look at that. Now you can see they feel more in sync, right? And so this thing is kind of oscillating at pretty much the same rate as the block wants to oscillate. But it's not perfect. So right here, they kind of get a little bit out of sync. But then they're back in sync. And so it's working pretty well. Now, you might think as long as you keep speeding up, the oscillations get bigger. Let's test that theory. Let's go all the way up to 5. Well, look at that. Now they're out of sync again. This thing is kind of bobbing up and down, but this is just moving too fast. The spring, the mass, they want to oscillate slower than this. Now, you probably are looking at the graph, and you notice there's this spike. What is the spike? What's that peak? Well, if we reset, this mass spring system has some natural frequency when it just you know, goes up and down freely, it'll go at some particular frequency, which is equal to, it's, it's based on the equation we saw before. If you wanted to find the natural frequency, you would take the reciprocal of the period for this equation. So if you wiggle this bolt up and down at exactly the same frequency, which happens to be 3.15, look at this they are perfectly in sync all the time. And so this thing never fights against the spring. It's always with the spring. And this is called resonance. The amplitude continues to grow. Resonance disaster. Okay, so we can only let this go for so long. Let's briefly capture this with some notes. The period equation for a pendulum is... 2 pi square root of L over G. If you want to turn that into frequency, you just take the reciprocal. So reciprocate the 2 pi and reciprocate what's inside of the radical. This is the natural frequency. It's the frequency when swinging freely. without friction or a driving force. Oops. So if you start driving the oscillation by shaking it up and down, what happens? Well, let's change now to an example of a pendulum. 
Now, when the pendulum is out here, the restoring force pulls it back like this. And likewise, that tilted component of gravity would pull like this. There are times when you drive the oscillation, there are times when your force, the driving force, is working with that natural restoring force. But if you don't pick the right frequency, if your driving force is too quick or too slow, then there will be times when you oppose that natural frequency, that natural restoring force. Sometimes in sync, but sometimes the driving force can get out of sync. with the natural restoring force, which in this case is the tilted component of gravity. When they are perfectly matched, when the frequency of your driving force perfectly, perfectly matches the frequency of uh, the natural frequency that it just freely swings with, that is called resonance. The definition of resonance is the production of a large amplitude when the driving force is applied and has the same frequency as the natural frequency, which again, the natural frequency would come from this equation, the simple harmonic motion equation. So there are moments if you don't match Right? If you don't match, the oscillation is kind of haphazard and random, and really not too big also. Why? Well, there are times when your driving force opposes the re restoring force. That's what we showed here. That's the picture on the right. And when that opposition exists, this removes energy and lowers the amplitude. But then, at other moments, they are in sync with each other, and this adds energy to the system and increases the amplitude. We can capture this on a graph. Here is the natural frequency. That's where the amplitude hits a maximum. The graph we're going to draw starts out at zero because if you're not shaking at all, if the frequency is zero, there is no amplitude. So the graph curves up and then it goes down like this. And it can actually be a little bit sharper than that. The peak can be a little sharper. That's not uncommon to see a pretty sharp peak. Um, but those qualities depend on the particular system that you're working with. So this is right here. That's resonance. Why? Well, because F driving, the frequency, frequency of your driving force, matches FO, which is the natural frequency. That's another way to write the natural frequency. The free swinging frequency when there's no friction or anything applied. We can put this all together because now we know the three types of oscillation. Simple harmonic motion is when the position changes with time. And those oscillations are sinusoidal. Oh, they look like this. They kind of make what we would think, uh, you know, think to be a wave shape. And you notice that as you go up and down, you always get to the same height. Damped harmonic motion is going to be like this. 
where the amplitude gets smaller with time. Resonance, which is one type of driven harmonic motion, starts small and the amplitude grows with time. So your maximum position is getting bigger and bigger.